With the government releasing its playbook today on how it plans to distribute a vaccine once one is ready, tonight we're looking into the huge logistical challenge of getting it to more than 330 million Americans as quickly as possible. Here's CBS's Weijia Zhang. In what it calls an interim playbook, the CDC outlines a plan on how to distribute a vaccine 24 hours after one is approved by the government and free to those who get it. There are six vaccine candidates. Most require a second dose, either 21 or 28 days after the first, and it has to be the same vaccine both times. Cities and states are scrambling to make it all happen. We don't specifically know what product we're getting, what kind of conditions it's going to require to maintain that vaccine. One challenge, the vaccines must be stored at different temperatures, ranging from 2 degrees Celsius to minus 80. And with the need for social distancing, there can't be long lines that facilitated vaccines in the past. Some states will repurpose drive through testing sites, but not in cold weather states like North Dakota, where those giving shots have to stay out of the elements. The local public health units in North Dakota are being very creative, and they are uh, going to practice using ice houses, which are for ice fishing. You can get rather large ones that potentially people could drive through. But in Philadelphia and other big cities, many people don't have cars. We're hoping to pursue the possibility of having uh, mobile vans. Another obstacle, keeping track of who gets which vaccine and when they need a booster. So the massive effort to protect the public also depends on the practical pieces coming together. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Washington.